again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 29th of January, 2019. Article posted by Fox News, written by Travis Fedsham. That's capital F-E-D-S-C-H-U-N. This was actually posted on the 28th of January. Wisconsin woman found frozen under vehicle in hospital parking garage dies. Suspect arrested. Carly Bowden, 33, died Friday after she was found unconscious and frozen under a vehicle in a parking garage. Medical College of Wisconsin. What a pretty girl. What a terrible waste of life. A 33-year-old nurse practitioner in Wisconsin died Friday soon after she was found frozen and bleeding underneath a vehicle in a hospital parking deck, officials said. Carly Bowden was discovered in the parking structure at Frodedert Hospital in Milwaukee County after deputies were dispatched to the area around 3.45 a.m. and came across a vehicle that crashed into the wall of a garage. Authorities found a 33-year-old unconscious underneath and bleeding from the head. She was also frozen to the ground and had a weak pulse. She was freed from underneath the vehicle and transported to the hospital where she was pronounced as dead at 4.21 a.m., according to Fox 6. At a news conference, the Milwaukee County Sheriff, Erno Lucas, said a 27-year-old man was taken into custody in the case. Additional details about the case, including any possible connection between the victim and the suspect, were not released by officials as of Monday afternoon. Authorities were still reviewing surveillance video from the parking structure, but had classify Bowden's death as a homicide. The victim's husband, Nick Bowden, told Fox 6 his wife was incredibly nurturing and had won a Daisy Award for her work in nursing. Our family is suffering and it's a tragedy, he told the television station. She loved to sing opera. She spent a month in Italy singing opera. She just loved to sing. Hospital officials said that Carly was an employee with the Medical College of Wisconsin since 2014 and Fort Hart Hospital from 207 to 2014. Her presence was felt by all who knew her, providing both warmth and strength to patients as well as mentorship to new advanced practice providers and nurses. Frieder Hospital officials said in a statement to Fox 6, we ask for the community to respect the privacy of her family and co-workers as they grieve this tragedy. You notice they haven't identified the suspect? Hmm? You want to bet he was also a border jumper? Hmm? Absolutely insane. The longer these Democrats prevent a border from being built, the longer these kinds of incidences, unfortunately, are going to take place. If I find out the specifics on this particular event, I'll do my best to update you. If you come across information as to who this individual is, and if in fact he was a border jumper, if you let me know, I'll let my subscribers know. Thanks for listening. Absolutely insane.